Hello everyone, Bieron here again and welcome to the video where we'll look at the top 5 most hated things in Terraria. Although Terraria is one of my favorite games, I have to admit there are a few things about it that annoy me a bit and I dare say I'm far from the only one. So we'll talk not only about the things that are an integral part of the game and definitely shouldn't be altered in any way, but let's also check out things that I believe should be adjusted or improved. So uh, we can only hope that some of the things we'll talk about in this video will be fixed after the release of update 1.4.5. Well, shall we begin? In fifth place are recurring random events. Although random events are sometimes desirable, especially if they are reasonably challenging for you and can provide you with some new items. So in most cases, I dare say, events always come at the least convenient time. Despite the fact that some events keep repeating from time to time, even though you've completed them several times. And unfortunately, there's no way to prevent this. I doubt any player would want a slime rain to occur at the stage of the game when they've already defeated the Moon Lord. Of course, other random events that trigger at inconvenient times are pretty annoying too and shouldn't be repeatable. Only if the player summons them using the specified item. In fourth place, banners filling up inventory. Again, I dare say that this is a feature that should be somehow adjusted. Personally, I don't use banners at all. To me, it seems pretty pointless to collect them since my inventory is always cluttered with banners anyway. Because it simply works well in a way that whenever you kill a certain amount of a monster, you automatically get a banner in your inventory, which then allows you to get a bonus when fighting that specific monster. So you could say that these banners are only useful if you specifically build an arena where you intend to fight the designated monsters. Well, personally, I've never done anything like that. It might be worth considering adding an option to disable banner acquisition or maybe there could be an item that would ensure banners just don't go into your inventory. Honestly, they just take up space and don't have any deeper meaning. In third place is searching for the plantera bulb. Although searching for the plantera bulb is quite a tedious and unpleasant part of the game, I acknowledge that it has some significance. It does have a certain significance that these bulbs are only found in the jungle underground. Because nowhere else should plantera be properly summoned. Still, I think they could add another item that could at least increase your chances of finding the plantera bulb. In second place, fishing. Although it's an absolutely boring activity for me, I admit that a large portion of the community enjoys it for some reason. Therefore, I definitely don't think this activity should be adjusted in any way. However, this doesn't change the fact that fishing achievements have the minimum number of players. I dare to say that this activity is definitely not too popular. In any case, I admit that this is just a side activity you don't have to focus on because it has absolutely no impact on game progress. Anyway, if some player likes to stand in one spot for a longer time, repeatedly casting the rod into the water while being periodically bombarded by local monsters, I definitely don't want to tell you what to do. And now we get to the most hated thing in Terraria itself. I really hope the next update will fix it once and for all. And these are the issues with cloud storage. This did happen to me once in the past. That I needed to reinstall my computer. I didn't want to save my Terraria files to a flash drive, so I just set up cloud saving to avoid losing my saves. But when I installed Terraria on another computer, I found out that my saves simply don't work. Fortunately, I managed to find some old versions of my saves in the Steam files. I didn't completely lose everything here, but in those saves I had to go back two years in time, and I had to restore a lot of things afterwards. That experience wasn't pleasant at all, and since then I never rely on cloud storage in Terraria. Moreover, from what I've researched online, the issues with storage are far more prevalent among Terraria players. So I really hope in update 1.4.5 is cloud storage going to be fixed somehow because sometimes you just lose your computer and have no way to save your files. If cloud storage is not working, you might end up losing these saves for good. Well, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. By the end of the video, one more thing came to my mind that I completely forgot to mention and it definitely deserves to be part of this list. Specifically, it involves cleansing your world of all evil. As you probably know, Terraria has two so-called evil biomes, Corruption and Crimson. 
at least one of these evils is always present in your world from the start and of course it is desirable that you use clean terminator or with the help of a purifying powder you also have the chance to ask the dryad who will tell you what percentage of the world still needs to be cleansed but of course this process is extremely demanding and personally i have never managed to cleanse any world completely because of that, I haven't completed the associated achievement, and as I checked, it's the least completed achievement among players. For this reason, it's assumed that not many players really enjoy this activity. And now, that's really all for this video. Let me know in the comments if you agree with this list. You can also add other things that annoy you about Terraria. And if you liked the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks a lot everyone for watching, and for now, bye!